Gascon won no new friends in El Monte today, defending his liberal policies that left this killer on the street rather than in prison, and saying we have an imperfect system and there's no way to predict when someone will turn violent. I recognize those are very difficult times, and they're difficult for many reasons. Understandably, many of us are angry, including myself. Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon defending his policies, which resulted in probation rather than prison for Justin Flores after his latest gun and drug arrest. A gang member and convicted felon, Flores would later gun down El Monte officers Paredes and Santana. And we all wish if we could predict violence, but the reality is that we can't. In this particular case, the history of the suspect, Mr. Flores, did not contain any evidence of violence. Please bow your heads. But for grieving loved ones, Gascon's excuses are too little and too late. The mother of Joseph Santana, speaking at a ceremony Friday honoring the two men, blames Gascon for their deaths. Joseph was murdered by a criminal, criminal that should not have been, should have been in jail. Los Angeles District Attorney George Gascon gives criminals more rights than police officers. He has insane ideas about giving criminals a slap in the hand. And we will get through this together. Critics of the DA who filled the El Monte Civic Center in the days after the shooting point to a law prohibiting probation for those with a violent strike as Flores had without a specific review of the case by the DA, which did not happen. Today we he heard a series of excuses by the district attorney. Eric Sadal with the L.A. Deputy District Attorneys Association, who was backing Gascon's recall, was highly critical of his boss's comments today. So what's the bottom line here, what we heard today? The bottom line is you have a, a district attorney who refuses to acknowledge the pain that he has caused to well, He these. did acknowledge the pain. Well, he's acknowledged the pain, but he did not acknowledge his role in the pain. And that's the real problem is we have a DA who doesn't understand what his job is. He sounded more like a defense lawyer than he did a, as a, the chief prosecutor. Which, as we've been reporting, Ellis and Christine, is the argument for backers of the recall, which is continuing to move forward. Uh, through contacts in the El Monte Police Department, I asked for Mrs. Garcia's reaction to what she heard today. Basically, she said that some people just cannot be rehabilitated or reformed, referring to Flores. And she said if Gascon was a real leader, he would take accountability for his actions and policies. Live downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.